Hello, hello guys, how are we doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be some more rank play gameplay for you. Um, at the point of recording this, um, I was only an elite. I think this was a few games into my elite uh, process. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a brief you know, entry into what you guys can expect when you get to the elite level. I, asked, I was playing with some guys a bit lower rank than me, so I think there was a couple of greens in here as well. Um, but generally, mostly elite. Um, and I'll go absolutely off. I get three... Even a four piece at one point, uh, but many three pieces throughout the game. Obviously, being Tuscan, it's not quite as an achievement as it would be on another map. Um, I mean, this is one. I'm just letting this play out because I'm smacking on people right here. There we are. I love the rats as the pistol was a backup weapon as well. That shit fucking hits hard. Right. Gameplay you're going to watch. I'll go 49 and 20. Um, I'll go absolutely hard. I don't necessarily touch hill too much, but that wasn't. I didn't feel that was my role in the game. Um, I was more trying to get some kills, get them off hill, um, be that annoying player on the map, which I think you need someone like that on bow cage as long as your team is willing to get the time. So I think I get. I don't get zero. I think I get 37 seconds or something like that. So um, I somehow get away with my life right there as well. Um, but I do do some pieces around in and around the hard point as well. So don't you guys think I'm just camping up top like this? Although I do feel like on this hill you need someone up here just being that annoying person. Um, you know, being in the back of the enemy's heads at all times. Um, I'm using the best SMG in the game still. There was a nerf to it, which reduced the damage range. However, um, as the FA stabilizer is still a thing, see, still people, people can still use the FA stabilizer. Um, and there's another 3P for you there. Love that shit. Um, excuse my language. I'm. <sighs> need to watch my language this video. I've used it. I've used curse words far too many times already. Anyway, anyway, as as we were. Um, yeah, I'm absolutely pleased on that. Boko charge point is probably one of my. Although it's complete chaos, probably one of my favourite maps to play, simply due to the fact that, you know, there is potential to get these three, four people uh, dead at one time um, by, by yourself, which, um, you know, I do like. And there, there's another one. That, that would never have happened on any other map. They just flooded straight into mid. And I just picked them both off one by one. All off one by one. Um, but yeah, the map score itself... Um, I don't think it was too close. I think we ended up... It was being close at the beginning. And if you guys, the keen, eagle-eyed guys amongst you, would have noticed that I started the gameplay um, a minute minute or two in. And that's simply because P1 was just a bit of a bit of a mess. Like I, My gameplay wasn't enjoying to watch. Um, no one really got much time from it. It was like 15 seconds each. So it wasn't really worth watching. Um, so yeah, I thought I'd skip that part, skip that part of the video. Um, I am... I was debating with my channel... Um, just doing my road to uh, challenger, which is essentially what this is as well, uh, as my main um, the main video topic I uploaded. Now th that will probably be the case because obviously there's that's the biggest thing you guys have probably heard see is me struggling my way up to challenger um, if I get there. Um, but I do, as as you can probably tell, I I've grinded this game out a lit a lot. If it, for those of you who are already friends with me on Activision, you guys are going to see that I'm already spoiler alert. Um, uh, I'm already a master rank with over 2,700 SR, SP. Um, which I don't think it's too bad because I don't play all the time. Like I play three, two, three times a week for a few hours at a time. Um, so it's not like I'm grinding heavily. But um, yeah, I was debating whether to not whether to just put out master gameplay straight away for you guys. But I thought, you know what, let's just keep this. I might do a random master video in a couple of days showing you guys what it's like to be in master and what you can expect when you get into the master ranks now um, rather than when I actually hit it. Because otherwise I'll be skipping a load of gameplays that I, you know, I've made be between this one and my master gameplays. Um, obviously, once I get to master, the, the score lines aren't quite as, uh, quite as, what should we call it? They're not quite as good. So obviously I'm hitting 49 or 20 on this map because I'm against elites. I'm not going to necessarily be doing that as consistently as I am on this against masters and then challenges because obviously I'm playing better players. There's no way, by the way, that those two should not should have not killed me there. There was just absolutely no shot. I don't know. That little bunny hop. Um, Pieced them up nicely. And everyone needs to piece them up nicely. Talking of which, I am hoping to do some sort of movement guard in this game. Um, coming from Black Ops Cold War, obviously it's vastly different. And for those of you who are, you know, looking to really ace your movement and get that down to a get that down to a T, um, I want to do a movement video just for you guys to see how you can improve your movement, how you can 
higher your success rates of winning gunfights, using movement, as well as, you know, getting around the map in the most efficient way possible. Um, so that will be coming to the channel soon. I did an accuracy video on pubs, but I think I'm going to do it on this because um, there are a few things I've picked up since doing the video on pubs uh, that I think you guys would be interested in seeing it ranked. This guy read me like a book there. Annoying as hell. Um, you probably saw me, to be fair. But yeah, so I think that's going to be something to come. I did call it... Um, Road to Master or something, uh, Mastering League Play or something on Cold War. So I'm going to have to think of another creative title on this one. Um, but yeah, I've got some exciting content on its way. And if any of that sounds appealing to you whatsoever, make sure you guys drop a sub down below. Um, stay tuned and be the, one of the first guys to be able to be able to catch this. Um, I am... Sorry, this is going to be just... I say this is going to be like mainly about the gameplay. I am going to be updating you on a lot of other things to come in the channel, as you guys are probably going to tell already. Um... So I apologise for rambling on. Feel free to meet me and enjoy, enjoy the, the cinematic gameplay in the background. But um, on the channel, I when I was playing League Play, I did a lot of guides and how to, like, and my thought process on the map. I mean, that is a little cheeky peek right there through the stairs. There's no way you should be able to see a nameplate through there, but hey go, it benefited me here. I'm not going to moan. Um, but yeah, I, I, when I played League Play on Cold War, I talked through my decision making and why I'm doing certain things and tips uh, for the map whilst I was watching it. And I'm probably going to do something similar here. Um, what I'll eventually end up doing is hopefully covering all modes on all maps so you guys have got a good basis to figure out, you know, how to do well on each of them. But obviously it depends on me doing well on each of them for you to be able to, um, for you, me to be able to teach you. Because obviously you're not going to want to listen to someone who's going absolutely negative all the time on Voodoo Control, for example. Um, but yeah, so exciting things coming to the channel. I'm trying to figure out a way to schedule it because obviously I only really do, and unfortunately at the moment I only have time for doing um, three to four uploads a week, so I can't do it daily, unfortunately. Um, not until I've got a bit more time on my hands, but we'll see. With a full-time job, it's not quite as easy, but hey-ho. Um, look at this. Look at this, what I mean. this is. I'm hoping you guys are enjoying this gameplay. So... That's me. Enough of the rambling. If there is any suggestions in the comments or any of you guys feel like there's uh, a certain series you'd like to see that you'd enjoy on League Play, um, drop down, drop it down below. Obviously, I do have my own thoughts, so I'm not just going to be stealing everyone's ideas. There will be my own thoughts in there as well. Um, but if there's something you particularly want to see, something that you'd be interested in, make sure you guys leave a leave a comment down below. Um, and I'm interested to see what you guys want to see. That'll do me. Obviously, the game's coming to a relatively cl I say re close. There's a couple minutes left. Um, and as I said, make sure you guys stay to the end. So I, go. I don't quite drop a 50 bomb annoyingly, but I do a 49 20. So it's not too bad. Enjoy the rest of the guys. Enjoy your Sunday, and I'll catch you in a bit. Ciao. Hard point located. The enemy has taken the hard point. Hard point is active. We control the hard point. We're breaking their backs! We control the hard point. Hard point activated. 